What's going on guys? SYB Trading here and I'm gonna continue the series of Zero Pro Perform from Trade Zero. And in this video I'm gonna cover how to set up your workspace or layout to look like mine. So first of all, this is how it looks like guys. But let's go ahead and create a new layout. Once we create a new layout, we can start creating things that we need on the layout so i need four charts so i'm gonna create four charts right so my charts are set up what i want to do is i want to bring the level two here with the time and sales and some watch list here so let's go ahead and do that by the way guys if you don't know uh, the simple navigation of uh, where to bring these things i have created other videos relating to specific topics like charts how to set them up market depth how to set them the way uh, it looks like this right over here is your level two guys and we are almost there now we need to create another level two uh, which is market depth and i'll bring it down here Perfect. I'm okay with that. Really like the look now. Already looking good. And I wanna before I go anywhere, guys. What I wanna make sure is these top top half of the uh, windows. They all should be connected and linked. So it should be linked to A, linked to A, and linked to A. Now, if I enter anything here, let's say Apple. Voila, there we go. Our charts have changed. Everything else is changing uh, to Apple. Now, over on this side, I have daily. So I'm gonna make sure that I create uh, daily. Just gonna put daily up here. And obviously I want on the daily chart, I don't want VWAP. I'm gonna get rid of that. So that's perfect. So that's my daily, that's my intraday, let's say five minutes, and the same thing will go over here. So uh, first of all, we need to, uh, now on this one, linking will be B, which is a green one. Let's link it to B, green one, and voila. We've got spy here and everything will become spy. Now I want to change this top uh, bottom left to daily and obviously get rid of that uh, VWAP. Here we go. That's our daily. And then on this one, I've got my five minute chart here. Right guys, so that's a charts done. They're all linked up. Five minutes daily, five minutes daily. So I'm looking at two stocks. Uh, at the same time now I don't like the way uh, level 2 looks so I'm gonna quickly make uh, changes to that I'm gonna go time and sales I'm gonna leave it alone but I'm gonna change this old classic to uh, sorry the, the the layout of level 2 from new zero pro to old classic I am liking that there we go and the same goes for this preferences and we're gonna select all classic, apply, okay. And that's much, much warmer to the eyes and I'm happy with that. Now, because this is too wide, I need to crunch it down a little bit so that I have more space on the right side to put my, so I think if I crunch it down this way, it should be perfectly fine. Now over here guys, I really don't need the time to show up over here. You might have noticed there's a time here, uh, over here you can see the time. You don't need that because it's constantly changing anyways. So I will try to hide the time if I can. And just keep it that way. There you go, that's much better. That's already looking much, much better. Now, same thing over here. I'm gonna crunch it down a bit this way. And I'm gonna crunch this to the right a little bit, minimize it so I can only see the size and the price. That's more than enough for me. 
perfect guys that is already looking nice now i need to put uh, some watch lists and my portfolio here so let's create our watch list all right here we go my watch list is basically over here and we're gonna crunch it up now i have gone through the settings for the watch list how to, uh, how i set it up but um, i have gotten rid of all the headers here you can check my watch list video on the same series but at the moment i'm just gonna crunch it just for this video's purposes so what i have normally done is uh, i will keep everything over here linked to this top page uh, top part of the window which means it's going to be linked to a right because that's my main main area that i'm watching right so that's uh, my watch list and then you can create another watch list i'll keep another watch list here at the bottom but for the moment i will keep it like that next will be my portfolio again on portfolio guys i think i have made a video if i didn't then i will actually make one but for the moment i'm gonna crunch it I just minimize it as much as i can to fit this area here now over here guys it's, it's just a bit too tight what i will do however so that looks much much better guys and that is pretty much how i set up my layout guys a quick overview of and how to set up my layout the way i did and if i have missed anything please post in the comments below and i will see you in the next video guys take it easy stay safe ciao